everyone and welcome to my channel. Today the look I'm going to be creating is the picture you see on the screen. It's basically a flat twist at the front and I have a three quarter wig um, sewn on the back. So the hair that I use I got from a Roro's Raw Hair Collection. It's a deep curly and the lengths are 24 inches, 26, 26 inches. It is the curliest texture that they have. I only use three bundles because these bundles are thick and they are also double drawn. So I not, didn't really need, need to use more than three because I just kept on adding bundles to um the wig until I couldn't. I mean, adding tracks to the wig until I couldn't anymore. And it turned out perfectly fine. Like, look at this bundle. It is so thick. And the curls look so yummy. Hey guys, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna part off um, a section in the front. Uh, you could determine um, how thick you want that section to be. I really didn't make mine that thick. It, I wanna say it's about an inch the inch thick and that's only like up here because like way my airline is set up <laughs> uh my hair kind of grows out more up here rather than in the edges it kind of like go back more so that's why right here is gonna be thicker um than now the edges it's time to start the stuff i'm gonna be using today is wait yeah they got to be glued ultra glued the black tube one and the spray this well this is obviously a gel so i'm gonna be using it uh to do my flat twist and i'm gonna use this afterwards you know to secure everything you're gonna need you a little rat tail comb or whatever comb uh you're using that's gonna make you um feel more comfortable doing your flat twist and you're gonna need you some elastic bands so i'm gonna show you guys how to do a flat twist if you don't already know already, these are the two that I already done. I did one over here too. So first you're gonna make your part. And obviously this is my part. You're gonna wanna make sure that it is straight. Uh, well, I don't wanna say straight. You wanna make sure that it's a clean part, that it just looks professional. If that makes sense. I want to make sure it's clean. When it's good to go, you want to get you your gel. And basically, what you're going to do is you're going to put gel on the base of the flat twist. Because that's the only place that's really going to need it. And you're going to do that on both sides. And you just want to put enough that it's like damp if you like your your hair is like it feels damp or wet if you must say but you want to make sure that it's saturated because this is going to give your finish look just a really clean look and then you're going to start off at the very beginning you want to start um start off with just a little piece and that you're just going to twine it and then you're going to continue twining it. And as you're twining, you want, you're going to add a little bit of hair as you go. Don't try to add like a whole bunch and rush it. It will look absolutely ugly. You don't need that. So you want to take your time and just slowly, slowly twine it. You finish twining it, and then you, after you're done, you can get your elastic band. I always uh, double my elastic band. Not double it. I, uh, what do you call that? I think it's called double. I don't fucking know. But you always, I always like wrap, already um, double my elastic band before I put it on so that it's super tight. And then I wrap it around three times, and that's it. 
you don't want to put it on too tight because whenever uh, you're trying to get it off, you don't want to uh, rip your hair out. So that's really it. Voila. So it took me a minute to get done but i'm officially done and this is my little flat twist i mean they're cute or whatever now that they're done let's spray them which you got to be glue um free spray so that uh they could like keep in place before you do anything else and next thing i'm gonna do is I'm going to be using my got to be glued um, gel and I'm going to lather it with each and every one of the end of these twists and um, I'm going to do a bantu knot to each and every one of them. now it's time to braid down my hair so you could really uh use any um braiding pattern you want it's really all up to you i'm gonna uh be using the anchor braid braiding pattern which is for this i'm gonna be um using i mean be i'm putting two anchor braids going all the way around and this is this is these are the braids that i'm gonna be sewing um down the wig on the rest of the my hair in the middle is all gonna be braided all the way back and this is just so uh that my head will be super flat and you can't wouldn't be able to tell that i'm actually wearing a wig or sewing or whatever the hell you when want it comes on to anchor braids the only thing you really have to worry about is making sure that it's not too big and then it's not too soft, so it's firm. So whenever you um, sew through it, it doesn't start like unraveling and stuff. So that's about it. And make sure that you put, oh yeah, make sure that you put them in the right place. Because your anchor braid is going to determine how your wig looks sewn down. If it's put in the wrong place, then... It's just going to look tacky and you, you don't need so it. So I'm like finally done with braiding. <sighs> My hands are so tired. They're actually like a little bit red. Oh, the struggle is real, y'all. But let me show y'all my braid down pattern. So this right here is my anchor braid. And it goes all the way around. I don't know if you guys can really see it. And these braids right here are just the hair that was left out. I really like these. You want these to be firm. But as long as they're flat and they stay in place, it really doesn't matter. Like, But yeah. And the size of them, I feel like mine's are like medium size. But if you want to go smaller, you can. But I feel like my braids are, as, are really flat right now. And I really don't have to worry about it. So this is the finished product. I used um, the entire three bundles. It's like, I don't know, it's all over the place right now. But I removed the plastic, well, most of it. If you've ever used one of these um, ventilated caps before, you know that the plastic is really hard to remove. Also, I sewed a track. I don't know if you guys could actually see it, but like I sewed the track uh, inside of this so that when I flip it over, it, whenever it's sewed down and I flip it over, you wouldn't, you won't be able uh, to actually see that track that's uh gonna be right here like you would just see her if that makes sense kind of like give it a illusion 
that is coming directly out of my scalp. I haven't detangled this bad boy as yet, but since I don't have my tripod, I'm not going to be able to do it on my mannequin head, but I'm going to sew it down and then add some water to it and start detangling. I can't wait. Let me get you guys a close up. I can't wait to add some water to this and weigh it down so you could actually see like the real curls. So this right now is like super defined. I can't remember the last time I actually got an actual sew-in. Like ever since I discovered U-part wigs or just wigs in general, whatever the hell you want to call this, I haven't gotten a sew-in. I don't think I'm ever going back to that life. Yeah, I'm not detangling this stone. I thought you were gonna put you gonna put another weave or something on it, right? For what? I don't know. I don't know how the fuck you I never seen you with, with it like that. So I never done it. That's what I'm saying. Like usually you have like the little twist or whatever up in the front, but it leads to the there. It is gonna lead to I'm gonna wait undo this. I don't know how to put it. The twist is bigger than that than what you have right now. So this is how it looks fully installed. I haven't uh, detangled it or um, wet it yet. Okay guys, so I know that the last part of my last video was me um, finishing my install, but I really had to go uh, somewhere so I didn't really get to show you guys how like I detangled and like basically combed out all the curls. So I had to just like um flim the last part of this video. Like probably I want to say it's like I did my hair about a week ago, and I actually redid the front part of my my hair because I just didn't like how I did the first um flat twist because it made it made it seem like a part of like my hairline was kind of bald I just didn't like it so I took it out and I ended up redoing the front part of my hair but that's about it like I sprayed some uh water and some oh snap snap okay so I sprayed some water and I use uh, this to apply moisture and I also use this lovely lovely thing right here I really love this it's uh, the Pantene Gold series leave-in detangling milk for some reason I don't know like it's not it's not oily it's kind of like just real this really like moisturized slippery feeling and that's what I use to basically detangle my hair. Hopefully this lasts the entire day. I have never used that on... Well, actually, this is my first time using this altogether. I've used the the oil before multiple times. And that um, actually moisturizes my hair. But I want to see if this is going to actually uh, last throughout the entire day. And you don't get like super puffy and like just super uh bushy so that's really about it this is how the hair looks detangled i want to say this kind of mimics the uh i want to call it the mongolian um kinky curly hair that you see going around 
It is really, really um curly. I wouldn't compare it to Deep Wave. I would say, yeah, it was more of like on the kinkier side. As far as kinky curly or the Mongolian kinky curly hair is super um curly. And if you do not apply um, more shit to it and you want to rock it as an afro, you could totally do that. Like, that's what happens if you don't, like, maintain and moisturize um, this hair. It will start to get puffy. So, the the way I, I do to maintain that, as I stated before, is the Pantene Gold Series and uses an oil as a moisturizer. Also, I do not wash my conditioner out because if you leave a conditioner in your curly hair it makes your hair stay more d defined longer so let's say at the end of the day my hair should not be looking like a big puffball or be looking super puffy at all it should still uh retain these defined curls if you want to um use extra protection i suggest that you use your got to be glue a uh, free spray, I think that's what it's called. Uh, you could use that after you're done moisturizing and after the curl patterns are set in the way you want it to. And you just spray it all over uh, your head. So I'm going to give you guys a little look at my entire head right now. So I did uh, Bantu Knots uh, for my leave out right here. Because I just didn't want to blend it in. And I feel like it would just be a lot more work if I tried to blend it in. So I use Back to Knots, which works perfectly fine. So this is my curl pattern. It's super curly. And it's still like a little bit damped. Let me put all my hair in the back. I can't even really show you guys like I wanted to. But my hair is kind of damp right now. So it's not completely wet. It's still damp. Like you could still see like a little bit of product, a little bit of water on my hand whenever I put, um, touch my hair. But it is just, it's like super gorgeous. And it's only three packs of hair, which is uh, 226 and 124 pack. I use the entire three bundles. I, in fact, did. So, if you want, let's say you wanted to um, get this hairstyle and you wanted to uh, use a frontal, you could definitely use three packs and the frontal. If you wanted to use a uh, closure, I would suggest you get four packs just because a closure is only going to um, cover up like. This part of your hair. So you're still going to need um, tracks for your sides. So I would definitely recommend getting an extra bundle just for security reasons. You know, I got a big head. So <laughs> maybe three bundles and a closure could work for you. But can't work for me. But <laughs> yeah, if you wanted to get a frontal, I feel like this is enough size for a frontal, actually. Yeah, it works perfectly fine. Three bundles and a frontal. 226, 124. And I I guess a 22 inch frontal or a 20 inch. It's really hard to detangle. Now this is a super kinky texture, so it's gonna require more uh work to detangle. Oh, however, uh, there's ways around it, ways to make uh um this job easier. So what I I know this with this hair, make sure that it's saturated, make sure that it's completely wet. I normally do this in the shower because it's more convenient for me and it's just better in general. So what I do is I go in the shower, I apply water to my hair, and then I basically condition it. And what you guys is so I basically condition it, which basically what you guys normally call a co-wash. I condition it and then I let it sit for a little bit. Then I use my uh, denim uh, detangling brush and I start working from the end and just keep on detangling, detangling until this side is done. Then I move on to the other side. And once it's fully detangled, I just leave the conditioner in there 
you could wash it out if you want to. I do not suggest doing that just because your hair stays um, moisturized longer and it doesn't really tangle as much. So it really it helps with you your detangling. So after that, after I get out of the shower, I apply my oil, my light oils to my hair so that my hair could absorb all that moisture. And then I apply the Gold Series um, leave-in conditioner from uh, Pantene. So that's about it, guys. I think I'm a good. Well, I'm gonna do a um a month review after wearing this hair. Just to keep you guys a little bit updated on how this hair looks, how is it holding up, like how much does it shed, and all that. But that's it for now. I'm gonna give you guys one last look at these curls, honey. So you can actually see how it looks defined. So I'm trying to show you guys in the mirror. Okay, good. So this is how this looks defined. I would say, oh snap, the light in the hair is extremely, extremely bad. But this is how this hair looks defined. Until next time, guys. Peace. One, two, three, come on. Thank you.